<laughs> Joey? Hey, what's up? <laughs> you, mm? you look a little different today. You, you kind of look cool. Of course I look cool. I'm doing math, and math is cool. Well, actually, I think you're right. Math is cool, and it's also fun. Yep. The number biz is cool. <laughs> well, you want to have some fun with me right now and do some math? That'd be cool. <laughs> Get over here, Mr. Cool Guy. Okay, here's what we want to do. We want to write, we want to write number sentences using three of the following numbers. 13, 5, 8, and 7. And the question is, which number cannot be used to write related number sentences? Let's find out. So related That'd numbers cool. the related number sentences just mean sentences that have the same numbers in there in some kind of different order using different kinds of things. Let's take a look at some examples. So for example, let's try some and see what you think. The first one I want to take a look at is what if I take 5 and add 8. So notice that I'm using two of the numbers and if I take 5 plus 8, the answer if we think about it is in fact 13. Hmm. So there's a good example of a number sentence that uses all three of those numbers. And we're not using seven, though, right? No, we're not. No. Okay. Now, here's a related number sentence. What about eight plus five? Well, if we figure out that number sentence, we see that eight plus five is actually still... Thirteen. That's cool. And so there's another, and that's a related fact, because we're using the same numbers, even though the order is different. Right on. Now, we could actually even have some more fun. Yeah, yeah. How about this? Now, I'm going to throw one at you. Throw it on. All right. How about 13 minus 5? Well, if we have 13 and we subtract 5, we actually see the answer is 8. Oh, yeah. Now, check it Look out. Look at that. Again, 13, 5, 8. Those are all from our list. But notice <laughs> that poor 7 is not doing so well. He's not very yeah, cool. Well. Not, Not very yet. cool. Well, Not let's see if we can yet. find it. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. How yeah. about 13 mm -hmm. minus 8? Mm. Well, if we take 13 and subtract 8, we actually see the answer is 5. You are cool. Five and 5. You are cool. And check it out. Again, yeah. all three of those numbers are the first three numbers on the list. But poor 7 has never been used. Not cool. Not cool. But these what are you going to do? Well, we're going to make sure that we're not going to have to use them somehow. But these numbers right here are all related facts because we use the three different numbers in different ways to produce all these number sentences. I got it. But maybe there's some other way to kind of use three numbers where seven actually gets in the mix. Mm. But I'm going to tell you the answer. The answer, Joey, is no. And I'm going to do it for you really fast because really? I wrote down all the things we have to check. So here are all the numbers, like maybe 7 plus 8 like equals 13 or something, but it turns out that's mm -hmm. not true, because 7 plus 8 is 15, and that's not on the list, so that's no, no good. Not. If you take 7 plus 5, that's 12, that's not on the list, so that's no good. 13 minus 7 is actually 6, that's not on the list, so that's no good. Mm -hmm. 8 minus 5, that's actually an easy one, it's 3, but it's not on the list, so mm -hmm. that's no good. 8 minus 7 is 1, and 1 is way too small. Way too small. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, 13 plus 7, that's big. That's actually 20. And 13 plus 5 is 18. And also, we notice that 20 and 18 are not on the list. And mm -hmm. so, Joey, we see that none of these numbers that involve 7 actually make it into our related facts using just these numbers. We escape those numbers, and so that's no good. These are the only, an only related facts that use these numbers, and we see... We see the sad, kind of cool, but sad thing that seven is the only number from the list that is not involved in these related facts, cannot be used. That's right. No seven can be used, and it's really cool that you helped us figure that out, Professor B. You've earned these. Put those on. I got to tell you, solving that equation and thinking about these things together with you did kind of feel cool. It's going to get a whole lot cooler. Oh, I'm liking this. Yeah, right? Cool, huh? I'm liking. Okay, so now yeah. we got to work on our cool walk. A cool walk. Okay, here we go. Mm, let's go. Mm, mm. Mm. How am I looking? How am I looking? Pretty cool. Later, little math dude. <laughs> <laughs>